Hello. Welcome back to an episode of We on Front of... Yeah, what is this? The Lost Archives. It's uh, right down here. The one with uh, damaging an elite enemy grants you barrier. Absorbing up to 80% damage for 10 seconds. Uh, sadly, it can only happen every 30 seconds, but it may be somewhat helpful. All right. Let's get in here and unlock that. <gasps> Oi, yoy, yoy. Overpowered attacks deal bonus damage to enemies based on the sum of your current life. Unfortified life. So if you don't have that much current life, then you are screwed. Just saying. But this environment looks beautiful. An icy library. The gateway to learning. Or maybe it's uh, Superman's hideout. Oh, what? Like there's a boss right at the beginning or what? Might be. Alright. Uh, slay the demonic vanguard. How many vanguards are there? I mean, we got one biggie. The other one could be further down in the dungeon. Oh no. Exploding enemies. That's not nice. Let's just cheat. So, what do we have up here? Nothing, really. Ah. Oh, now I understand it. Because my attack speed itself is so low, it takes a bit in order to cast the abilities, like the all three companion abilities. What I usually do is just, I hammer the buttons uh, and expect damage to happen. But every little attack is an animation, and that animation is dependent on your attack speed. So the faster your attack speed, the better it is. Why did that thing just disappear? That's not nice. So it's a problem of use it or lose it. The red kind of regeneration bubbles. Not nice. Blech. Don't explode on me. I'm not ready yet. So I wanted to check this room though. And in here we do have a container with uh, nothing inside. Come on. Don't drop the gold so light. Make the gold magnetic. Make it be iron instead. And can be used to craft weapons. And other nice things. Yeah. So, let's get in here. There we go. Sapphire. I'd really like to see slightly faster tornadoes. That would be sweet. Okay, uh, what's this one? Critical strike damage versus crowd control. Okay. It's always dependent on another effect. Very interesting. Hmm, wait a minute, didn't I? 95, 101. Big question. How much damage does it actually change? If I were to use a double weapon, what's this one? Two handed maze. No, it's another question, but that could actually do something. 
I take that, and I take that. Ah, that one would still deal more damage. Hmm. Or maybe I just wait until I have a significant increase from a two-handed to a one-handed weapon. And that's the thing, you really do need two-handed loadout and a one-handed loadout just to be able to compare properly. Oh, I really I have a pretty decent idea. Uh, what if, right, what if your one-handed and your two-handed weapons are always in the weapon slot, and then there is an offhand slot. And depending on if you have a one-handed weapon equipped or a two-handed weapon equipped, it either gets activated or deactivated. So you don't have to manage uh, an additional item in your inventory. It's always there, but it's not always active. So it activates with a one-handed weapon and it deactivates with a two-handed weapon, obviously, because you don't have it in hand, right? But it's still equipped and you can still carry it around and the damage comparison is always possible. That would be such a nice feature. Oh, I'm so good at it. I'm so good at it. I have to make one of those games myself. That would be amazing. It would be a creep... A feature creep out of this world, but it would definitely work. Phew, you know, we got a decent amount of gold. What do we do with that? Can we... Nothing. Uh, there's also nothing in this room. Right. Anyway, we did get ourselves a little level up. What do we want to do? Get 10% more damage? Uh... The answer seems to be yes. Increase non physical damage resistance. That's actually pretty good. You gain. Da, 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 da. Huh. This is good if you use defensive skills. I don't use defensive skills. Mm. I mean, the healing is pretty cool and all, but no. So that one was tick. Uh, no, it's not active yet. So I could go with that one. Two ravens periodically attack enemies. Enemies inside the swarm. Ah, no, we don't need another vulnerability thing. Active keepers duration is three seconds. No. I mean, 20% plus is amazing. Especially against heavy hitters. But two additional ravens would be quite nice. So what if I were to get rid of that? Uh, it's like... 36... 33. It's not that big of a difference. So we go for that and get the ravens. Now I have more ravens. <laughs> right. Uh... So where are the ravens? I don't see any. Do they even fly indoors? Oh yes, there are. Okay. I just do their stuff. So... This might be the way forward. Let me just figure this out. Uh, Necromancer Coffin. The coffin remains sealed. Okay, or maybe I have to go forwards and around and... Uh, whatever. Oh, diamonds. At the beginning, no diamonds dropped at all. I think the drop chance of certain higher tier items, uh, and this one could be a higher tier item, is increased at higher levels. Uh, so, even if you may uh, defeat the right enemy, they may not drop the item that you need because it's dependent on your level and not on the enemy. That's just one of my guesses. It would make fighting a bit easier. This gold is always at the wrong spot. Always, always, always. Yeah. I am fearful. That's not nice.
Ooh. Once the wolves hit, they do hit. That was not intended. So, what am I going to do with that? Uh, lucky hit chance pretty cool, by the way. How does the lucky hit chance of this thing work again? It has lucky hit chance. But... How do we actually trigger things with lucky hit chance? It says that it triggers things, yes, but what exactly does it trigger? Increase the chance of triggering lucky hit effects when your skills deal damage. Uh, um, effects are probably these roll independently. Base lucky hit chance vary by level. But I just don't know what exactly gets triggered here because I don't know what the effect is. Or if I even have any effect. Um, there may be those effects later on in the game, just not now. Okay, that one goes away. That one is a one-handed 90 maze. Not necessarily needed. The resistance of the resistances of this thing are actually pretty good. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What does the map say? Um, return the mechanical box to the pedestal. Ah, right. That's what you have to do. It's a more complex style. Not just a run around forward and defeat everything that you see. It's more like run around forward, defeat everything that you see and get a box back. Uh, and then defeat the boss that arrives there instead of somewhere at the end. There, now I can pick it up. Hey. My muscle memory is not quite on point. <laughs> so, a hundred, wait a minute. hundred, a hundred, a hundred, hundred and six. That one goes. Uh, I don't even know how many chests I can actually carry. I can... I may be able to carry two of them. Let's just uh, go on forward. Oh, wait. I really need a pure movement button, otherwise I'm gonna get crazy. Again. What's this thing? Movement speed increased by 25%. I think I know why. Maybe because of this box. Yep, probably because of the box. Just let me move them out. I really need to use this evade skill a bit more often. Completely forgot about it. Oh, enemies. further north. Somewhere up here there should be another box. It's a Nazar. Resistance to everything, that's nice. Damage reduction, spirit cost reduction, yes, plus one rank of all rough skills. <laughs> mm. About that. 
Wait a minute. It says plus one rank. Does it mean that we unlock that? Go to skill assignment to equip. <gasps> Ooh. Plus one rank. Yeah. We get a free... Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is something that I did not even consider. We can use a skill that we haven't learned yet. Awesome. Um, that's a skill we go for. Should be pretty awesome. I said this all the time, right? But uh, uh, let's see. Let's try the boulder first. Oh. Uh, uneventful, actually. What's the other one? Uh, the trample. Sure, we got that. This is um, shape it into web and perform an infectious bite. Well, doesn't seem to be that special. The target is required for that. Okay, can't even check that out. The hurricane thing is something I want to check with enemies themselves. That could be quite a funny thing to use. But I need a lot of them. Oh, oh it actually comes with me. Oh, this is, this is sweet. This is awesome. I am frozen. Okay, Hurricane is definitely the skill to go for. I mean, the other one would be Lightning Strikes, but I said again, or like some at the beginning. I mean, Wind Skills, yes, but Lightning, not so much, even if it is also Storm related. We know exactly what kind of element we want, and Lightning is not one of them. It's a very, very basic, very simple kind of elemental choice. We go with a mixer. Oh, yeah. It's actually a very lazy build, if you think about it. And the reason I want to use Hurricane and not the ultimate ability is because this one here only has 20 seconds cooldown, whereas the other one has um, 60 seconds. one thing in that I have to check is the uptime versus the downtime like this one is active for eight seconds uh, but has a downtime of 52 seconds this is like uh, how many seconds you can use it per per cooldown or something like that um hmm. yeah 52 seconds, whereas this one has 12 seconds downtime, right? It's also 8 seconds active. 97. This one has... Yeah, it says they... The lightning strikes wildly. I don't know how long. Over 8 seconds. Deals on so much damage over 8 seconds. It means like damage over... S damage over time, right? But... Uh, this one just says that lightning strikes. And of course the lucky hit is a little bit higher, but I... It's per lightning, probably. But we don't know how many lightning strikes are there. That's the issue of it. Oh, I just love that. Bit. Oh, how I love that skill. It's amazing. Alright. So, 82 armor. Nah, no, it doesn't have any special effect yet. Sadly. I'm doing far too much item management right now. Shouldn't do that. those wolves could just bring the items to to me that would be sweet i mean i have ravens they could at least give me the gold i cannot expect them to fetch me armor pieces that are extremely heavy right but at least the gold coins give me the gold coins would i use some skills for them waste some points i don't know not quite sure Do 
Actually, a very quick decision. If the number's higher, then yes. If the number's lower, then no. <sighs> Thank goodness this game has like way to quickly compare items. Green number good, red number bad. <laughs> um. feels as if I'm not dealing enough damage though. Oh, it takes time to pick it up. That's why. Oh. Oh, sweet. I'm not ready yet. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that shrine is amazing. That shrine is amazing. I absolutely love that thing. So, what do we have here? All those soul thingies. What if I were to just teleport away and still keep this backpack with me? Is this a quest item? No. Consumable aspect, map related thing. Who knows? What's this? 110. That's actually quite a. Up to. There we go. There we have the lucky hit thing. Up to a 2.2% chance to execute injured non elites. <gasps> Ooh. Sadly, it says up to. Um, Up two, up two, up two. Why does it have to have an upper limit? Hmm. Let's just check this. Lucky hit execution. Well, yeah, I've had a chance to instantly kill enemies who are below so and so much life when you de uh, when you damage them. It probably scales with the skill used and your lucky hit chance. Oh, it scales. 2.2. .2. The thing is, they say that it scales, but this one has... Oh, maybe it's this one multiplied by, by this. So 2.2% is your base value. And then it reduces itself depending on your lucky hit chance. So the higher it is, the more... Um, yeah, the more you come close to your uh, lucky hit chance. And uh, if it's lower, then of course it's a lower multiple of that. And another Nazar. Better or not. Distant enemies. <laughs> and one rank of all defensive skills. I don't use defensive skills. But uh, I could try to get the essence off of that. Yeah, I could actually try that. Let's see. Wait, what is this altar? Oh, slay shamans. Five remaining. Okay. I have to make sure that they uh, do not perform this ritual. There we go. Is that? No, it's not all of them yet. Survive the enemy assault. Okay. Oh, wait. Ah! I must wait a and I'm dead. That was unexpected. Where's my checkpoint? 
I did lose the box even. That's not nice. So much so for hardcore mode. Uh, your items lose the ability when you revive. Revive yourself? Aha. Uh -huh. So if I'm not reviving myself, but um, through other means... On... How do I destroy the altar of Pashi something something? Where's that altar? I don't even know where that altar is. Can't even destroy it. That's just cheesy. I messed it up. And I even died. I don't like 10% reduction. That's weird. So if it reduces itself by 10% all the time, which is 10 durability points, then uh, why not just give yourself 10 durability points instead? <laughs> uh, wouldn't that make more sense? All right. So let's see. That one goes. Uh, that's 207. Now it's a 200 thing again. Critical strike damage is actually pretty sweet. Look at that. 14%. 14%. Oh boy, that's actually really high. Only problem is that's slightly low in terms of overall damage. And what about our crit chance? It would be nice to have a set of numbers in here that you activate and then they show up down there so you can quickly see them without looking into that library all the time like crit chance also depending on what your build is right so you choose either weapon speed or you choose vulnerability damage whatever just anything that would be a really cool idea anyhow oh I got a level up and which one is it uh, enemies who are damaged by hurricane are slowed. Yeah, that's one thing. Yes, this is the thing that I want, right? Uh, the damage reduction. This is something that keeps me alive because this one definitely doesn't. Damage is cool and all, but no. Uh, I only have a limited amount of skills. Ah, uh, your storm skills have up to a 10% chance to make enemies vulnerable. This is where it kind of starts. I uh, can't take that point away though. Anyway, this is where it starts. And then I'm going to get additional lightning stuff. Because it's a passive damage way. Uh, a passive way to deal damage. That's just kind of sweet. Love that. And uh, could be maybe... You kind of refund a node that breaks the connection to another node. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, so... Can't get there quick enough. This is just there for vulnerability sake. This one increases the damage by... 10% again. Um, enemies are slowed for 2 seconds. If they are in there. What would be nice? Uh, I mean, vulnerable enemies is pretty sweet. Your storm skills. Everything is a storm skill on me. Except for this one. As companion, 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 but everything else is a storm skill. Right. Uh, let's keep that one. And that means that we can make enemies vulnerable with that. That's sweet. I'm really, I must wait a moment. really, really pissed about the fact that I died. Because I stood there and I wasn't keen on my feet. This is the thing. Mm, somehow... Yeah, the... Oh, no, I got it. Um, You are bound to your actions, I think. Are you? Yes. Let's check this again. Uh... Yes. Okay, so you attack, and then afterwards you do the evasion. It's not that the evasion overrides your attack. 
So it's not movement over action, it's action over movement. Something to keep in mind. Can we destroy it? No. Maybe we should just uh, stand very, very far away from it. Something bad is going to happen here. There. Yeah. Lost archives done, and uh, now I got another aspect for my collection. Yes. Oh, look at this! It was 180 before, so it does scale with level, I presume. 30 points per every level, or whatever. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's the thing. Let's see. While injured, huh, uh, your potion also grants 20% movement speed for 2 seconds. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Healing received goes up. Uh, rank of trample, huh, again. So I could actually get 2 points in rank in trample for this. Pretty sweet. Damage reduction from close enemies, so it's a tanky item also. What about that one? Uh, basic skill damage, 8% bonus. Studity, critical, ah, lucky, critical or luck, critical, mm, cooldown reduction, yes, oh wait, that's an offhand weapon, ooh, ooh, wait a minute, I have to check something, um, 249, attack power, oh, it's a two-handed thing again, uh, where do we have this one? 221. 205. Nope. Damage to healthy enemies. Uh, damage over time. Sweet. But what about that one? That's 221. That's the highest one so far. It's not the best yet. Wait, no, there's a two. Uh huh. Is there no way for you to sort items in here? That would be sick. 101. Yeah, that's the one. 214. Mm. Uh, I'm definitely not in there. Yeah, 214. Ah. Uh. Definitely not ready to do that yet. Let's... Okay. It sorts it in a nice way. I should do this more often. Uh, sadly, it doesn't take all of the junk and place it somewhere up there or down there or whatever. So, uh, let's see. That was the offhand thing. Kind of want to keep that. What am I going to do with that? It's cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. But do we want that? Who knows? So, what was the lucky thing? Lucky hit chance, there we go. It does not tell you about anything else, though. 
Damage reduction from distant enemies. Thorns. And... Wasn't there a lucky execution thing? Maximum life is better. Yeah, look at that. While injured, your potions also restore 10% resources. Oh! So the pants give your potion uh, additional oomph. That's very interesting. Magic pants. Did, did not even notice that. Look at this. All of them have special effects on them. That's awesome. Oh, this is cool. Unlocks new look on salvage. Oh, come on. Alrighty. So, I have to get out of here, obviously. And we are going to do it the easy mode. Okay. Why am I teleporting to Kyovashat? Is there a way to quickly change that? Because every time I'm here in Kyovashat, I just... Or maybe because, ah, this is the main city. That might be it. It's a very simple reason. Very simple. My burden is too great. So, let's get all of the junk out of here. Weapons. What's this? Side thingy again. Uh, 148 compared to this. It's actually better, but much more expensive. Hmm. Yeah, what about the gold? 1,700. Absolutely. Oh, come on. Look at the numbers. So if you were to not um, turn every item into junk, right, and get uh, resources out of it, you would have a slightly better time keeping up with uh, the damage curve and defense curve and whatnot by just buying the items when you need them. That's actually a really, really, really good idea. Just do that instead. Focus on the main stats like armor, right? That keeps you alive, and the other stuff is there for the funsies. Ah, bollocks. Come on. Like, this one cost you 41,000. If I were to sell most of those items, then I uh, would just need to fill my inventory once, and I would be able to get at least one bonus item. Ah, oh, come on. And I wouldn't need to rely on item drops that much. you got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. All right. So, what about this one? Uh, that was a movement speed thing. That was a funny thing, but to be honest, there. Uh, let's just turn this into junk again. And. Uh, oh, no, wait. I wanted to see how to extract things. If I could do this. And this was the curiosity vendor, yes. Let's see. Can we extract it? And how often can we extract that? That's the question. S no, wait a minute. Uh, enchantment. Extract as... No, it's a legendary thing. Mm. Enchant rare or legendary item by replacing an affix. 3,000. Okay. 5,000. 6,000. Why does it have to be always so expensive? Okay, so it only works with legendaries. I thought you could use... Yeah, use it on those normal affixes, whatnot. So, rings and the like. Are they good? No. Not quite. Not there yet. Complaining about the gold, My right? Bags are full. But I'm absolutely the first one <laughs> who throws it out. Uh, the best, yeah. The first time I see something else. So wait a minute. Let's keep that. Should I keep that? No, we don't need to do that. Don't get too uh, attached to your you stuff. It's not necessary. This one, on the other hand, what am I going to do with that? Oh yeah, wait. Uh, upgrading equipment. Why don't I just do that? Anymore. Carry. 
What do you mean carry anymore? This item cannot be picked up. What do you mean by that? My bags are full. Why, is, why does he say that all the time? This item cannot be picked up. As if there's something down there that... Hmm. Whatever. Let's get all the items repaired. So, to the upgrades. How does it change? 330 something. Okay. Slightly higher damage. Slightly higher other stuff. That's good. That's good. That's good. But the upgrade cost... Yeah, it's a thousand. It's a wee bit high. Um... Okay, that would be quite cheap. Can do this three times. Ah, ah, okay. Two for the blue, three for the yellow. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. A list of values would be nice, so you don't have to hover over them constantly. Hmm. Not the jewelry, though. This cannot be upgraded. Only this stuff. Interesting. Maybe the jeweler does that? I've noticed that. Okay, what about the percentages? How much does it make it better, though? It makes it better by... Like, in comparison to the lucky hit chance thingy, it's a 10% bonus. Strength is also a 10% bonus. Um, lower bound. Meaning that they cut away the 0.5 and they just get the 1. Otherwise it would be 1.5. And then, yeah, it's 10% again. Armor itself is not 10%, otherwise it would be at 9 bonus armor. So it's less than that. Um, a third of that, actually. So 3% bonus. So if we were to compare it with this one. So everything is 10 except for the main attribute. Um, and the main attribute is... actually quite weird. It's not even 10%. No, wait a minute. 10% would be 38. 38 divided by 3 is... Uh, 3. Actually a bit higher than 9. So that should not be in this... There in this amount. Okay. So the bonus armor is somewhat calculated differently. But the rest is... Okay, 1.3, not 1.5. That's not working there. So the bonus you get from uh, upgrading items is not always the same percentages. And poison resistance should not be 1%, but 1.2. Okay, that's weird. So value, 1, 1, 3, 1. I don't know how it is calculated, but it's somewhere in the 10% range. And then just a little bit armor. Weird. But I would say focus on uh, upgrading equipment that you... do not tend to uh, throw out that often. Or exchange in whatever manner. That would make more sense. If you know that you're going to keep this for a very long while upgraded. But not at the beginning. It's kind of a waste of items. So, what do we got? Uh, we don't need appearances. Headstones. Nope. Didn't even notice that stone. Uh, wait. Yeah, stash. This one can be sold. Really not. Not even sold, just junkified. And uh, let's see. Let's throw that in there. Be happy with that. Nice. Alright. I did do everything in a vest, didn't I? Need something forged? Forged. Yes. Come back if you need work. That is pretty, pretty, pretty neat. So we got this one done, this one done, defiled catak. 
Ahoy. Okay, something is weird. This one has a tick mark and this one has a tick mark. This one does not. Uh, it says that I have 30 of them already done. I think that the tick mark uh, does not carry... Yeah, it does not burn all the time show up, does it? Uh, your return time portal will be closed. Sure, 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 sure. Why does this one not have a tick mark? I mean, I went through here, got the bonus. This one has a tick mark, this one has not a tick mark. So somehow the game forgot that I was f going through there. It's kind of weird. Wait, this is wrong. Why? Why did the game not remember the defiled catacomb? What's going on there? What is going on? Whispering key to open this thing. Good. So, where do we get a whispering key? Don't tell me from an item shop or something. Someone is charging forward a lot. A whispering key. Do you get a whispering key? I would almost say this is something for another time though. Because <laughs> I'm just grinding at the moment. What is going on with the Defiled Catacomb? could be that over the course of a day it gets reset and the tick mark disappears together with the uh, reward or something. Slay all enemies in dead hearkening. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's still a few enemies there. Something is weird. Something is really, 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 really weird. At least the enemies are visible. <laughs> Could just tell me how many there are though. Really do miss my regeneration effect. Uh. Oh, five remaining. Two remaining. Okay, travel to spiral crypts. The door has been unsealed. Oh, oh. Yeah, look at that. This 
sparrow crabs. Okay. Destroy scattered constructs. Hmm. Now we can do this again. But I just want to know when does it actually reset itself and when doesn't does it not? Something to keep in mind though. Ready yet. I'm just interested in the scalable constructs, nothing else. Oh, healing, yes. Oh no, no, I need healing. <laughs> the defensive skill would be a great addition. that just now. Survive the enemy assault. Okay. Forty something seconds. Uh, should have triggered that statue a little bit later, I would say. I'm just stand there and move, please. Okay, enough enemies. What do you mean enough? And I already destroying a lot. So now just the remaining ones. There we go. And in here we got a decent amount of stuff to fill our inventory. Nice. Oh, there's even another chest around. At least they do have a certain look to them. That's sweet. Good. Challenge for what? Uh, we are prepared harvester. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. One other question. Can I take out that jewel from one of those jewel sockets or am I bound to it? That's something to keep in mind. Ooh. Definitely need a movement button. If I don't make this, if I don't select the pure movement button, I'm going to die in the near future. I know that. Okay, so what about that one? Oh, ghost. This is oh, life regeneration while not damaged. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna keep that there we go um what about this this is better all stats healing received yes <laughs> no regeneration no oh, come on so lucky hit chance what is this rank of pulverize now but it has better armor better armor better overall so we're going to choose that yeah what about the damage wait a minute 250 still 250 re-equip item to access skill pulverize oh. Again, it's not pulverize that we are interested in. Uh, rare two-handed weapon, more damage, more better. Again, and uh, how much is that? Fifty-six, sixty-eight. You gotta be kidding me! You just open up a few chests, and all of a sudden your damage goes up dramatically. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, coal destructor. Oh, 1,900. What did I say about one 
little bit of grind and you're good to go in terms of gold. I just like to go to the blacksmith and click on the junky fire stuff. <laughs> uh, so much more convenient. Oh, teleporter. Sweet, sweet, sweet. But you know what? You can't teleport when it's uh, when you do this. Ooh, level up incoming. Oh, wait. Uh, I forgot the movement button. Totally forgot about that. As I said, movement. Uh, we need control. <sighs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Mount, dismount. Not something like that, but almost. Something like the shift button for the hold attack. But it's more the other way around. If I click on an enemy, I'm not moving towards the enemy. I stand there and attack. So I need the hold, hold movement button. Uh, not hold position, not evade, force move. <laughs> um, moves you to your cursor location without attacking uh, monsters or uh, interacting with objects. I think I should choose... Uh, yeah, either the right mouse button. Yeah, I'm going to use the right mouse button. That might be good. Mount dismount has been unbound. What? Mount dismount is also right mouse button. Okay. Hmm, interesting choice. Let's use uh, M4 for this. Also, the core skill slot could be this. Ah, okay, so that one does not interfere with it. Very interesting. Like, core is usually the one on the right, which is the right mouse button, but now it's the, uh, the other mouse button, by the way. <laughs> uh, so everything's fine, I hope. And now I can just uh, right click in order to move around and use left click in order to uh, attack and do this. Let's see. I don't even know if like... Is moving with the left mouse button better or is moving with the right mouse button better? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Like if you think about it, you don't know how you usually do it. Um... And you always choose the wrong one. So I don't want this. Every 18 seconds, the lightning bolt comes down in the attack stuff. Yes. Increases duration of hurricane. No. Um, up to 10% chance when dealing damage to a vulnerable, immobilized, or stunned enemy. That lightning bolt also it's dealing so and so much. Good. This is exactly what I want. Because I'm doing vulnerable stuff most of the time. So we're going for this. Followed by that one over here. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. That's such a nice build. It's a very lazy build, by the way. But it should do its job perfectly. And somehow, it also attacks whatever's right. Blech. No, 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 no. I wanted you to uh, attack the construct. Maybe I should do like force right click or something? No. should be... I think it should work more like control or shift or something. But I usually never click on control because this makes my hand cramp up. Now somehow I... I'm not really in the muscle mode. Uh, muscle memory thing right now. Hmm... 
Maybe I should use F for this? Or W? What about W? What does W do? I don't know what W does. I could go with W. W is a good one. Uh, yeah, W is a good one. What is W? What kind of button is that? Um, does it open anything? No, 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 yeah, look at that. I can use W for it. Okay. That's much better. Much better. So we use W for walk. <laughs> and the core skill can be my right click again. So that's working. Then the mount dismount thing can also be right click. Everything is good. And... Uh, yes. I think that the F skill I could put the uh, mouse button on but now I can walk with W that's amazing that's good that's absolutely good love it he goes kavoof, 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 but it actually hits the wrong targets it hits random barrels Oh, I can actually walk. See that? And then I can uh, click on attack. Which means I stand still there for a moment. That's pretty sweet. And then I continue walking. That's exactly what I want. It's kind of the same. It's just... Okay. Once you're walking, you're walking. But you have to hit a uh, an open spot first. At the open spot. This is the tricky part. Alright, got that one. Well, Jen can be inserted into equipment. Okay. Skull bag. Just let me compare this thing. So, is it better? Yes, no, maybe lucky. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, we do not really care about the lucky hit chance, right? It's more the bonus damage. Yeah, vulnerability damage. That's what we want. Damage to slowed enemies, sure. Damage to distant enemies, sure. Most of them are distant. So... Let's do that. And what about that one? Uh, no. <gasps> we can get rid of that. Move that away. This is actually good. Except for the strength thing. Increases the armor by 44. Increase the armor by 41. Okay. So it's a one to one conversion. In this case, this is just much better. Hmm. Weapon. Oh, life on kill. Eh, no. Healing received. Yes, but. The life on kill thing could actually help in tight situations. Question How do we get this out of there? Let's uh, take this, place it in here, and see what we can do. Can we... Can we... Uh, I don't think so. Uh, there's unequip. Uh, there's the link thing in the chat, but I think we cannot get it out of there. Or like, 
shift no shift click is that or shift right click no control right click no i think once you place it in there it's gone which is something that we shouldn't have done but at least now everything that is killed heals us oh this is sweet It's a small amount of heal, but it's a decent one in combat. Second level one. So, how many more constructs? One more to go, plus the boss. Let's just finish that. Regeneration, this is so ridiculous. It feels wrong not having any regeneration ability. It just feels wrong. There. skill that what is this one engage defiled guard cold and charmed frozen Ooh. oh no i cannot heal myself while i'm frozen that is not good that can backfire hey so what about that? Not necessary. <laughs> that lightning uses up its <sighs> It uses up its strikes at the wrong target. It uses it at this stuff. It's supposed to attack enemies, not barrels. Yeah, look at that. It actually strikes very quickly. Or oh, me? Oh, Maybe barrels get hit immediately, but enemies have a cooldown now. Ooh, let's hope that. Let's hope that this is true. That'll be sick. Come on, follow it around. There, that's good. Uh. Ah, too much poison. No, 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 no. Where is it? It's attacking something. I don't even know if I hit it. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Okay, there's another one. Uh, let's just pick this up. 
And another one. I'm just going to move around in the hopes that I can find a uh, healing flask or sort. As long as I stay in range, everything is good. Oh no. Let's get away. Perfect. Could have been better though, but oh, these webs are annoying. Annoying, I say. Okay, and I'm still looking for the exit, which does not exist. What do we have here? Rare maze, 150. Pretty decent. Lucky hit, execute injury, yada yada yada. Um, up to 2.2% chance to execute injured non elites. <sighs> the word injured is a thing that uh, is a bit weird. What was it? 35%, I think. Yeah, this is how you do this 35%. Um, just equip this thing, by the way. You look over here and then you click on Luxy, Lucky Execute, and there's the 35% live execution. But it's just a 2.2% chance to instantly kill them, which is very little. But if you attack them multiple times and you still don't deal that much damage, hmm, maybe it's a good solution. Who knows? Uh, let's just junkify that thing in case we may need it. Time to get the Kyoga shot. I'm still not quite sure why that tick mark is gone. Now it's back again. That's weird. Okay, so the map is buggy. Um, or it... Oh, maybe depending on the level. So this one is a level 19 dungeon, and now we cleared it, right? No, actually we leveled up in between, so that one doesn't count either. Um, it could be a daily, uh, daily completion thing. I have no clue, but there's definitely something wrong. Definitely something wrong with that. It doesn't always show up. My burden is too great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, salvage from bear weapons. Yes, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but... Could... could how much damage could we make with that? Hmm. The life on kill does not get better, though. That's weird. <laughs> so let's see, there's like 68. Would that be worth 1,000? Actually, if I just sell one item for 1,200, then uh, I already got my cost in, and the rest just goes to iron chunks anyway. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, don't know the previous amount of damage, though. It's like 30 something. Oh. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna. No. It don't have that many in inventory. That would be a waste of resources. I need something that increases my damage. Do we have anything in here? Attack speed. There we go. That could help. Not go. bad. Willpower is also something that increases my damage, right? Skill damage. Skill damage 7-6. Seven seven, very little change though. And that one has all stat bonuses, yes. Mm. The normal upgrade in terms of resources might be the best thing you can do at the beginning. Because I uh, superior leather is a bit hard to come by. Yeah, damage didn't really change. Don't know about the armor. It's like a ten percent bonus in armor. It's like nothing. The only thing that does increase, though, is the substats, uh, secondary stats. 
anything that's done now, like affixes or whatever you would call it. So a little bit of attack speed, a little bit of willpower, a little bit of bonus stats, like something like that. Uh. Problem is, it's a percentage bonus, and percentage bonuses are, well, wasted. Um, wasted at the beginning. You should just focus on getting better items altogether. I cannot do that here. Why not? Take a chance, wanderer. Take Take a trash wanderer. Uh, oh, actually, we do have decent obols. And when do we get these obols? Every time we do events, right? And able to sell items to this vendor, obviously. That's like pants, amulets. A whispering key! Unlock silent chests obtained from da 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 da. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So. Let's just. Uh, get a few of them. Okay, 10 is enough. So, uh, what else do I need? Some pans, actually. Actually, oh no, wait a minute. What kind of weapon is that? Does it have a level? It requires level 15. I'm level 19, almost 20. Um, which is the lowest item? 10, 10, 13, 10, 13. Uh, requirement, sure, but could be higher. What if I were to just get a weapon? Two-handed hammer. You cannot select anything that does not work, right? Yeah. So it could go like 75, deal more damage. More damage, more better. More better. Uh, more damage, more dead enemies, more better altogether. So let's do this. Oh, bad luck. <laughs> Try again. Okay, I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm going to get those whispering rings here. That is just a... Uh, okay, let's try boots at least. Come on. Again, nothing. Until next time. Good. We're not going to do that. That's a waste of opals. Or you could see... Maybe you could see it in a different way, right? Um, It's a chance of getting good loot. And it's a way for your opals to be some... My burden is too great. Somewhat useful. Uh... Come back. Yeah. Need something for it? I click. Ah. There we go. Now I can do this. So, all junk. Yes. Certainly, I can't just right click it and uh, see what I can get from that. So, you get iron chunks and rawhide. Iron chunks from the weapon and rawhide from the boots. It's not much because it's normal. Maybe you get more with other stuff. What though. will it be? Uh, repairs not necessary because we did not mess up, which is good. All right. I just have to check how to get jewels out of equipment, if that's even possible. Mm, maybe it's overwritten with the newest item, uh, with the newest jewel, or you flip them around. That would be quite nice. But I think once it's in there, it's gone. So, and then uh, Whispering Keys is something that I could actually try out because it's right around the corner. But I do need a I do just want a horse. Not need, but want. So, that's also a sealed door. Eccentric Stranger is convinced of a catastrophe about to occur. Hmm. Why don't we just do this side mission afterwards? While well, we're at it. Let's do this side mission in the next episode. Until then, like and subscribe as usual, and uh... Goodbye. Ta-ta.